Hello, welcome to the International Open Week. Thank you so much for joining from different parts of the world. At this event, we have two wonderful guests with us and I'll be the MC. And let me just introduce myself. I am Ankita Karmakar from India and I have finished my Masters of Earthquake Engineering last month. And at this moment, I have a PhD offer. So very soon, I am going to start with my PhD. So thank you so much for joining once again. And one thing I should mention, keep your questions coming on the chat box. We will try to respond to them at the end of this event. And let's just get started with the event. Thank you so much for joining. We have Tutu and Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining us today. And it's such a pleasure hosting you. So Tutu, why don't you inter introduce yourself and where you are from and what are your interests and why did you choose University of Auckland and when did you finish your graduate? Yeah. So my name is Tutu. Um, Tutu Wimian, the full name is. <laughs> I'm coming from Myanmar. Uh, previously, it is called Burma. So I finished my master's in public health in 2020. Uh, I just graduated, actually. I finished it like uh, I, I received my graduation after a year of I, that I finished. So I'm currently working at the University of Auckland as a research fellow. So I work jointly with uh, Auckland City Hospital. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, nice. That's great. We, so we have a doctor with us. What about you, Jonathan? Oh, thanks for having us. Um, my name is Jonathan, Jonathan Lee. I'm from China, Beijing. Graduated uh, with Master of Commerce degree. Currently working at Bank of New Zealand, BNZ, in the back office as, uh, in the analytical role. Wow, that's great. So we have a doctor and a banker with us. Such a wonderful evening. So uh, I, I have some uh, interesting questions to ask and this would be very helpful for the international students that are willing to come join at the University of Auckland. So the first question I would ask Jonathan you is, why did you choose your program and what did you hope to do after you finish it? It was obviously when you applied for the University of Auckland. So why yes. did you yes. why did you choose it? It was an easy question for me. i have uh, always passionate about numbers, economics, finance. Um, you know, early days watching those movies about investment, uh, banking and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so there was no Shadow of doubt, um, I did commerce and um, did my honors and did my master, done my research. I was all in the commerce uh, degree. That's something I'm really interested and in, uh, really passionate about. And uh, yes, it was no surprise. I um, landed my job in uh, one of the um, greatest banks, <laughs> wow. BNZ. So oh, enjoying it. BNZ, enjoyed that's it. great. Love it. Mm, I have you. to open my bank account there. <laughs> sure, I'll help you. Thank yeah. you. That's nice. So you already had your aims and your goals sorted before you started at the University of Auckland. Yes. So I was never um, never a scientific guy with a scientific oh. mind. So um, yeah, that was something I wanted to do. I was quite passionate about economics at the time, uh -huh. um, you know, finance and all those things. Yeah. So naturally choosing a program, finding a job was all come a long way. Okay, that's really great. Yeah, nice. So what about you, Tutu? Why did you choose this program and what did you think uh, at back in your time that you would be doing after you graduate? Yeah, it's a long story and it's a little bit um, different story for me because for me, I my background, uh, I finished my medical degree uh, back in Burma um, in 2017 and uh, 2014 and then I work in the public health field at Burma in different rural areas like and uh, working with um, uh, injection drug users working with patients with HIV TB malaria so I work like a like a uh, three or four years and then um, after after a long time then then like I want to like uh, explore more about like uh, what's what's about public health things mm -hmm. but in Burma like we can't study further like uh, for masters or PhD if we are not a uh, government employed mm -hmm. so just just an opportunity is to look for a scholarship and to study in overseas mm -hmm. so, so that's the only chance to get a master's or PhD to study further mm -hmm. so that's why um, I look for a scholarship and then 
and the reason why I choose public health is like uh, because of my background and then I went to explore more about public health and then like um, I think at, at that time I think my experience just limited no like not I can't do farther so then I went to study more about it so yeah that's why I choose public health that's lovely that's really lovely so uh, Tutu can you tell me um, about uh, about your current job and what particularly fascinates you what do you enjoy the most about your current job so my current job is um, I have to work uh, jointly with University of Auckland and the Auckland City Hospital mm. so that's a cancer project so especially with head and neck cancers so what I'm very um, what I'm very uh, love at my job is like um, to collaborate with different teams like uh, at the university, I have to collaborate with, um, uh, you know, epidemiologists and then uh, statistician and yeah, different specialty. But at the uh, at the Auckland City Hospital, I have to work with surgeons and then and and then different head and neck cancers team members. So they are like very quite fascinating. Like they are very helpful and then. I love to work, like doing some studies and research uh, related to cancers and yeah, to see like how I can help with the research, uh, with my research work. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure you must be visiting patients as well and <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, because of yeah. the COVID things, I didn't have much chance to see patients and to enjoy the clinic and the, yeah, and the surgery walk, those things. But yeah, I will, I will, I'm looking forward to do. Nice. To that's see really, more patients. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. What about you, Jonathan? Can you tell me uh, some interesting things about your current job and what do you do for your current job? Right, yes. Um, so I'm currently working at the Bank of New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So it's a back office job, uh, it's in the product team. And we're doing the uh, product analysis on performance and pricing. So I really enjoy it, and there's also, um, it's, it's, it has always been, you know, the people, uh, the culture, and uh, the continuous learning that's uh, tracked me with my job. Mm -hmm. So you interact and you work closely with uh, uh, good people, uh, motivated people, passionate people, mm -hmm. and help you to develop yourself and continue to learn new stuff. Mm -hmm. Even, uh, you know, a few years down the track of graduation, you're still learning something new every day. Mm -hmm. So that's something I enjoy the most. Uh, and the environment and the culture that's um, yeah really good. Mm. That just um, that's something you know keep me wake up in the morning very excited and go to work. Mm. Mm. So is it is it is it a, a reviewing your other performances of the sales or is it something similar to that that you? No, it's a, it's a back office. So we're doing majority of the uh, analysis. Mm. So dealing with the numbers. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no. So you play with numbers then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so analytical role. So. Um, pretty much similar to what we've done in the uh, master program. Uh, yeah. You you have the data and you yeah. analyze it mm. and you make recommendations or you, you make conclusions or you make suggestions, uh, provide uh, insight to senior management. Mm. So it's similar to some small portion of the research with the numbers that you are doing and coming out with an output, is it? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's really great. So uh, I would ask Tutu, in what way do you feel your studies at the University of Auckland have prepared you for this career path? Yeah. The the ma my master's um, degree is like really helped me working with my research work because. Uh, in my master's, the first year, I did some papers about epidemiology and biostatistics thing, like basic, advanced. I took that other people's not uh, didn't uh, not very interested in, but I took because of my interest. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really like um, it's really good to follow your heart. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and f I, I follow my heart and choose like those papers and then that helped me a lot in uh, a lot when I what what I'm currently doing so it's kind of epidemiology work so that helped me a lot mm. yeah in doing the research work mm. and also in my second year when I did my thesis yeah the course of that I I have learned from my um, 
first year. So it helped me a lot in like doing uh, different kinds of research work, like different aims and objectives. And yeah, and also the supervisors from the university are very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, they're very kind, helpful, supportive. Yeah, they are During very supportive. During the whole COVID year, they're very supportive. So yeah, without them, I couldn't do much. Yeah, so yeah. That that's a really like uh, foundation mm. for what I'm currently doing. Mm. So yeah, that so, helps me a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. As you mentioned regarding the supervisor, since I have also finished my master, so my supervisor was such a kind person, and they have you know like all the time whenever I was in trouble or I couldn't do my assignments or anything. It's they're always at a go to help you and. Yeah, I do understand. So yeah, so you mean to say that your courses and your research work at the university taught you well for the industry life. Yeah. yeah. So what what are your experiences like? How do you think that the courses that you took at the University of Auckland prepared you for your career? Yes, um, that's a good question. The um, the part I feel about university not only the technical knowledge that you've built over the course of your study, but also the soft skills that you've added on. Mm. Um, you know, your com communication skills, team yeah. working skills, um, problem solvings, and also, you, you, you know, after the, uh, the postgraduate, you pick up some more logical thinking through your um, research uh, program. Mm -hmm. And that, that self-study um, ability, skill, that something benefit me even, you know, graduate a long time, um, well, a long time after grad graduations mm. so everything I've picked up uh, at university helped me to progress to make me ready for uh, the job market mm -hmm. for the industry and also you know study overseas is never easy obviously I didn't yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, like oh, obviously I graduated before COVID all happened but then <laughs> even though at that time um, study overseas wasn't easy, but one of the things that university did really well is that you never feel lonely or, or helpless. There are always tons of people there to help. Yeah, you know, the em employability program mm. and the student support help mm. over there. So you have like a number of places people can go regularly yeah. uh, to get help. So they never feel being left alone, hang and dry, but they feel empowered and, and they feel um, you know, um, confident. Mm. So that that's really what motivated me and, and, and got me ready. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with Jonathan and uh, Tutu you as well, because the projects and the assignments are designed in such a manner that you are working with the team mm. and then that prepares you for uh, team management and how you work with the team and that, you know, generates uh, confidence mm to walk into the industry life. Yeah, that, that I agree with that. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say to all my viewers, thank you for joining once again. And keep your questions coming. We will try to respond to them as far as we can. And let's just continue our event and with these such wonderful people. So let me start uh, asking to do, uh, apart from the subject knowledge, what some other useful things that you suggest that you learned at the university? Yeah, like Jonathan mentioned, like there are different kinds of soft skills and then team walks that university um, delivered. And then we have to walk on the, yeah, while we are studying. And, all, and then also there are lots of like uh, different kinds of activities in university that like you like you. It's like you are not just study, study all the day <laughs> and every time like there are different activities, so yeah. And then like, yeah, for me, like the the most significant thing is like, um, it's related to my job, it's like uh, working with the supervisors, it's like kind of like you learn, you you can learn a lot from them because they have like a, a very experienced persons and very like very reputable professionals, so yeah. Like they, you literally learn from like um, from them. Like how how do they approach to like questioning the project, and how do they find the answers, and how the how is their way of like uh, delivering the results and present the results to other people? So that's very interesting. Like and then like how do you like 
communicate with different types of people to tell the stories, the, the results that you find from the project. So yeah, that's really, really, yeah, yeah, interesting. yeah. That's what it's. It's. it's uh, it revolves around you know building your confidence and uh, playing well with the team management. And these things what we learn. So what about you, Jonathan? What did you mm -hmm. apart from subjects? What did you learn uh, from the uh, programs and the subjects that you have taken apart yeah. from the just the coursework? Yeah. So I think what, what, one thing I've learned the most, well, the, one, one thing I realized the most in the first year was that. Um, you get team. You, you you get to do a lot of group work and teamwork, and you get team up with people from different places, with different culture, and different yeah, background, true. and working with the diversity and like a diversified group of people towards a common goal. That's exactly what people are doing at work. You know, you team up with different teams, yeah. different subject matter experts, mm. um, and uh, to achieve the same result. Mm. So that's something that I find is very useful, other than the technical subject matter that we pick up from the books um, again so that's something that help us to you know get used to that environment mm -hmm. work with people in from different background different areas um, and then yeah get themselves ready for the job yeah yeah that's that's the most important thing that i feel the programs have taught me you know like how to manage yourself in the industry mm -hmm. yeah i agree so to do tell me what tips would you give to our future international students to help them make the most of their university experiences um yeah <laughs> that's a very good question <laughs> for everyone <laughs> yeah the tips might be yeah it's, university is not only just about the study. It's uh, a, a few a, a few bits of study things and a few bits of research work, group work, mm -hmm. and get, like engaging and working with different sorts of people, and then yeah, learning different things. So yeah, just uh, do a little bit of things uh, while you're studying, and yeah, and then like. The coursework here and the research here is really great. Like I've uh, I've experienced the the fantastic research work from my thesis from my masters. So that's really helpful. Like I really enjoy a lot of doing research things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, in yeah there are a lot of like um diff uh, different sorts of like people who are supportive. Like and you can also like find um, different supervisors you can talk and you can find different subjects that you are interested in so yeah so go reach out to more to many people as you can enjoy different activities not only study just yeah relax and enjoy yeah make and, friends yeah, yeah 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 so yeah guys make friends and ask questions always ask questions to your supervisors and make friends so mm -hmm. what about you what do you think uh, should be a tip for our incoming international students apart from in terms of your experiences yeah so Look, I, I, I think there's, there's, there's two things. A, it's all about study hard and getting good grade. <laughs> it's all about that. that that's your full-time job at university is study and to demonstrate your ability to study. Mm -hmm. And you study hard and you get good results. But again, coming back to that, it's never about getting good grade. and never all about that. It's, a lot of people probably realize or don't realize, certainly I didn't realize, is that university life can be very short. Is you study for three years, some people four years, and myself five years, and you probably done more more, more than that. Um, you know, seven years mm -hmm. for the PhD program mm -hmm. is actually very short. Mm -hmm. It's like all blink of our eyes. Um, yeah. Is it? And, yeah, and it's the most important three to five years in your life. Enjoy it. Do you enjoy it? It ch changes you, and uh, you know, uh, make the most of it. And um, don't limit yourself just to those books. Yeah. And um, go out and enjoy your life, meeting mm -hmm. friends, understand new things, get mm -hmm. to see new things, mm -hmm. uh, explore the world. Um, but uh, again, coming back, you know, uh, study hard is, is the number one thing that's really important <laughs> yeah. because that, that demonstrates your passion. <laughs> and that's the full time job is being study at the university. Yeah. But, yeah so don't waste any, any single day because that time is quick, it changes people.
Yeah, it's just blink of an eye, yeah. you will be like a graduate and then, oof, you are into the industry. Oh yes. no, what to do now? Yes, yeah. and then you realize that's the most precious uh, straight yeah. five years in your life and yeah. you never get it back. And yeah. people, a lot of people will appreciate that, you know, study at a good university that really been the most valuable time of their life. Yeah, yeah. So I remember my bachelor days, like now when I look back, it was like, wow, four years just in yes. a blink of an eye. Yeah, definitely. It's time, time travels for us. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, tell me to do about uh, how did you balance your studies with other activities? Because that thing, I can also take an advice from you because I am juggling with different <laughs> activities and my research. So give me some tips. What do you think? Uh, how did you manage? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question though because I uh, I was so struggling during my first year because I just arrived here. The uh, like the teaching style is very different. I I, I have to cope with like um, you know um, uh, you know language barrier and then cultural shock. All these things. So the first year was really challenging. I took some counseling sections at the University of Auckland. Um, I think uh, clinic. Uh, at, there is a clinic at the university that you can do like counseling sections. They have they have it for like uh, different sorts of things like uh, uh, balancing uh, balancing your life and studies and also like coping with the, all of these cultural shocks and things. Mm -hmm. So there are like very there are many great counselors. So I talk with them during my first year and then for the second year it, it becomes it, it, it became more easier so uh, at the time I took like um, I did some kind of activities like uh, sailing and then like and did, I also participated in like meditation program here so that's really helpful during my second year like when I have to do research work and then at that time it, it was COVID time so I don't have to see a lot of people so like, yeah that meditation program is also really helpful mm. yeah so yeah yeah and also I enjoy like some dancing things oh, wow. and then sailing things oh, so, so yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a kind of like an escape from yeah. your uh, research work mm -hmm. so yeah 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 so so yeah. that's how you know you know, need to Obviously, you, you have studies as well as if you are living uh, um, and you know living in different country, then you have to manage everything on your own. So yeah, that becomes uh, you know challenging thing. So I what think what Toto was saying is don't yeah. underestimate the work. <laughs> the, the, the study over here can be very very uh, <laughs> intense, but, but but surely you know if you find yeah. yourself st uh, stressful yeah. or in a set situation of uh, struggle, there are tons of people to help you. Yeah, you know, even yeah, the medication. Sure meditations you know the counseling so don't worry so yeah and there was a group of our professionals there to help you go through the, the yeah, hard time yeah so what was your jonathan back in your time how did you manage your studies as well as your activities like how did you cope yeah, with all the i'm things? not sure about the program but um, quite the opposite i feel like you know we had all, all the time in, in my life and um it was it was yeah. great it was Good, a great, enjoyable uh, three or five years in my life. And um, mm. you know, you get up early in the morning, you jump on the bus, you go to uh, your early lectures, and then you after the lecture, you you meet up your um, uh, the group of uh, people for your assignment, do your mm. group work, and then you quickly go to the gym or you know go to a club and yeah, uh, a lot um, of activities. Yeah, yeah. and then you, after that you go back to the uh, library to study mm. and then you always study with your friends mm. and you sort of like motivate each other competing with each, each other and um, and then yeah I, 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 I feel certainly you know managing the time is about setting a target and have a good time management schedule there before mm. um, you know, you get a day started. Otherwise, yeah. the day can be bypassing really quick. But then, you know, like um, at the time, if you have a clear plan in your in your mind before mm -hmm. the day even started, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you achieve a lot of things. Yeah. And um, you meet a lot of friends. Yeah. You 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 still do your study. You still study really hard. Finish your assignment. You mm -hmm. get to join all the sports club. You go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Um, you enjoy Auckland's life. Mm -hmm. You know, you, um, 
Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it is the no, that's true, yeah. So, yeah. you know, like uh, balancing activities with your studies is like sometimes I feel that, you know, like as you mentioned, you know, um, dancing, you mentioned gym, going to the gym, mm -hmm. yeah. So, those kind of activities also gives, uh, you know, like peace, peace of mind yeah. Yeah. and that for me, I, 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 I do art. So I'm an artist, right. you can say, yeah. <laughs> so you know, sometimes when I'm stressed, mm. and I, so I just sit down and relax and listen to a soft music and just start sketching. Yeah, yeah and like you mentioned, dancing and sailing, and then you said going to the gym. Yeah. yeah. So those things also helps in you know mm. balancing your activities along with your studies. So yeah, yeah. guys, just just do it, man. Yeah. Just yeah. go for it. It's okay. Everything would be fine. And yeah. follow your heart and just make that mindset. Thank you. So that's all the questions I have for you. It was such nice knowing about you and you and banker okay. and uh, mm -hmm. doctor. Thank you so much for answering these questions. And all our viewers came up with some questions which we will try to respond now. And your insights would be very helpful to our viewers and our incoming international students. So do Glad we have the question, helpful. please? Thank you. Okay, so from Sung, we have a question for Tutu. How did you find and get your scholarship? Oh. You mentioned you did get a scholarship. So tell me about uh, the story. Yeah, so for me, like, um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, like for me, like to study further, there's only one way like to find a scholarship and then uh, studying overseas because yeah because it's limited in back in my country so yeah so um uh, so i'm most of the time i look for like um i look for the english speaking countries because like um yeah i found it like um uh, for if like um if I go to the English speaking country, then it would be easier, like, because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't need to study, like, another language, so, language. yeah, <laughs> but, uh, so, I, uh, I look for the English speaking countries, like, Australia's, New Zealand's, and then, yeah, um, and US or UK, so, there is like a New Zealand aid scholarship program. Now it's called the just the New Zealand New Zealand scholarship program. So that's a uh, that's a uh, at the time that's uh, they give an opportunity for like um, most of the countries like uh, in Southeast Asia. So yeah, so I applied it, um, and there is like a kind of each steps that you have to go through to get the scholarship, like interview and then um, and then uh, sitting IELTS ex examinations and these things. So yeah, um, and I I'm so lucky like that I got the New Zealand Aid Scholarship because it's really like um, they're very like they give you full support like stipends and then there is a student advisors that I can like ask for help and then uh, every time there's something happen I can look for help so like they have this specific student advisors from the New Zealand Scholar AIDS program mm -hmm. and then like they also book for the flights and also these things and then there's an orientation weeks yeah. and yeah yeah and there are lots of students at the University of Auckland who 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 get the that's NZ eight scholarship? So yeah. So uh, just uh, just a question I want to ask because there are so many international students asking about scholarship. So where did you exactly get the information about the New Zealand scholarship? Oh, okay, so uh, there uh, that's a that's you can search it on website. Mm. Now it's called New Zealand uh, Scholarship Program. Mm. So um, yeah, when you when you go to the web and just type the New Zealand Scholarship Program, and then it will come up. It is from the government, New Zealand government, uh, funded to, uh, now, it's, now it's like, uh, because of the COVID and the funding thing, now it's close to the Southeast Asian countries, but yeah, I hope it will open soon. But um, now, now it's available for Pacific and then, yeah, around the Pacific region, so yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, go, it would be open go, to go, all go other to countries. the web and yeah. then like, type it <laughs> using scholarship. Yeah, yeah okay. from the government. Yeah, uh, I, I can try. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, right now I've got uh, another scholarship. 
um, that's for the PhD pro that's for my PhD program that I will start on next month so that is called um, the University of Auckland doctoral, doctoral scholarships yeah, yeah. so that that's the same thing you can just google google it is it it is called uh, the University of Auckland doctoral scholarships there is a little difference between 2022 program and 2023 program but like 2023 program offers you a lot more chances mm. so yeah okay yeah that's go nice for sense. it yeah yes. go for it guys scholarships are the best thing yeah <laughs> well i do feel a lot I of do pressure get one, yeah. sitting in between you know the, um, yeah, yeah. phd graduate and phd can candidates just, oh no, no just just don't say that <laughs> okay so we have next question no, for no, you jonathan please. from shen thank you so much for sending me your queries so okay let me just read it out i am in my last year of high school and i want to work at the bank when I finish my undergraduate degree, wow, what advice can you give me to have a good start? Right. Wow, that's a very ambitious thing. Yeah. Now, I think you'll find a lot of people, don't, don't, don't just wait until you, gra you graduate, you'll find a lot, lot of people start working for a bank, uh, even in their fourth year or even in their se second year. We, we, we see a lot of people, um, you know, starting into part-time job or e even full-time job as in turn a study into part-time so you don't have to wait until you graduate mm. but certainly start to talk to different people from the industry uh, start to talk to your lecturer and uh, just get a bit of feeling about you know what it's like to work in the bank mm. what's day-to-day -day like mm. um, and uh, you'll you'll be surprised maybe there's something you really enjoy something you really like mm. but also throw the you know, when you talk to different people, you probably find yourself, oh, want to work for somewhere else, want to mm. work for overseas, mm -hmm. uh, want to work for other in industries as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so certainly don't yeah. wait until you graduate. So you don't have to. <laughs> there are a lot, lot yeah. of people pick up uh, jobs before even they uh, graduate mm. and be talk to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you get more feeling about you know what what is it like in the workforce in mm -hmm. the industry mm -hmm. maybe like we can start our networking right before from our you know like oh, degree days and then you know like talk to the supervisors and other people and then we have career development and employability services which is CDES so every international student that gets enrolled to the university they are emailed very often with the opportunities in banking sector and other sectors and about scholarships so check that out on the University of Auckland's website. So I have another question for you to okay. too. So <laughs> I'll just read it out. It's a good question. I finished my undergraduate three years ago and thinking about studying postgraduate. Can you tell me what motivated you to pursue studying masters? Yeah, because for me, like um, I'm coming from the um, developing countries. So so like um, according to my bachelor, it's kind of a little bit limited in terms of public health things, uh, specifically to my degree. So my bachelor is a little bit limited uh, when I like after three years of working, after finishing my bachelor, like I, I think like um, I need to, to explore more, like more or study a little bit further to know more about like public health things and to see different sorts of people and to to learn like so and also like uh, as i'm coming from the indian and developing country like it's a good chance to to study in overseas countries and then meet different people and explore about it yeah. so learn from them yeah. so yeah so that's why like um i like I, I decided to like, I will pursue masters mm -hmm. and then we'll study more and learn more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in overseas and then, yeah. And we'll like, we'll talk to more people and understand how they work to develop and then like how they work in their career, like mm -hmm. to help, to, to help more people. And then, yeah, yeah. that's why. 
Yeah, yeah. It also, you know, like uh, going to a foreign country and, and study abroad also teaches you a lot of lesson and then that makes you, you know, like a very, you know, like uh, what should I say, a furnished uh, candidate in the industry. Mm -hmm. And back in my country, like my experience when I was in my country, India, like I never used to do anything. Like it was all my parents who used to do. But here, uh, we have to do everything on our own and that teaches you a lot of lesson and that makes me motivated for the you know industry yeah. well that's such a lovely event and it's such so nice to talk to both of you and learn Thanks your experiences and and I'm sure all our international uh, students and all other people who have been joining this event has gotten some insights from you both and it was lovely a doc we have a doctor and we have a banker so uh, it's my pleasure having you all here and thank you so much for agreeing to this and coming here and sharing our experiences. Thank you so much everyone for joining this event and your questions were lovely and you have other webinars happening all across the days of the week. So make sure you register for them and you will learn a lot about the University of Auckland and about the programs and courses, scholarships and part-times and everything. So see you, bye-bye, take care. Thank you.